please, uh, ma'am, please identify yourself for the record. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Who are you uh, speaking with? Because my computer audio was not on. Oh, no, that's okay. I was speaking to you. Could you please tell me your name? Oh, uh, Tony Thayer. All right. Today is the time and date set for a motion for default entry. Um, Ms. Thayer had filed this complaint. The defendant has failed to appear or defend. The initial was for a claim and delivery action, as well as a request for $6,500. Um, Katrina, is there anyone in the virtual waiting room? No, Your Honor. And I'm going to take a look. I don't think there's anyone in the courthouse. I don't see anyone. I do see a person heading out of the courthouse. So they are not, no one in the lobby, no one in the courtroom. Um, is there, do you, uh, does the defendant still have your vehicle? Yes, sir. And you said you've paid them in full? Yes, sir. Have they explained why they wouldn't give you your vehicle? <laughs> um, I believe, and it's kind of a, a messy situation. I am going through a pretty uh, nasty divorce, and my husband and I, while well, we have a company together, while well, the check, this vehicle is insured through the company. And I did get the check. When we dropped the truck, truck off, it was supposed to be signed by two parties, the, our, our company and the guy who owns the shop. But I had him drop the check off, but I did not want him to sign the back. But, well, he went over there and signed the back. So I believe the guy just robbed Peter to pay Paul. And I think he spent the money and did not have the material and stuff to be able to do our vehicle. How much was the check for? The check itself was for $4,652.51. Okay. So you had sued for claim and delivery plus 6500 which is the maximum amount. Yes, because of insurance and truck payments that are being made on it. Pay three hundred and thirty dollars so, a month payments and one hundred and fifteen yep. a month for insurance. So the truck is titled in your name or the company's name? It is titled in my name. Okay, all right. I'll grant the default plus the sixty five hundred dollars plus costs. So at that point in time, you're mm -hmm. going to have to make an arrangement as to for how you're going to get the vehicle. You'll need the order to be able to show its claim and delivery. The order will need to be prepared. I'll I'll have it signed or stamped, and then you will be able to get uh, your vehicle. Plus the, okay, plus the um, could you guide me on, yeah, the judgment? Um, Actually, I, 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 I so got... let me, I'll answer your question. I'll answer your question with a question. Okay. All right. So um, if, if I were a referee in a football game and the offense asked me what play to run against the defense, because I was just <laughs> listening in their huddle, would it be right and fair for me as a referee to tell the offense what play to run? Probably not. No. However, um, we do have, there are forms that are available. Um, I am granting your request, but you have to get the request in the right. So you've done everything to keep costs low, which is smart. There's lots of things that you can do, but I cannot offer you advice because that would be me leaving my job as an independent person. So as an independent person, I'm saying the defendant didn't show, so you should win, but you have to get the document to me that I can sign. And you don't have the right to go get the truck until you have that document signed. And, and okay. there are forms available that you could uh, you could probably look up at the Michigan Court of Justice or MJI. I think it's the Michigan Judicial Institute, and you might find some forms out there for a claim and delivery order. Okay. What so kind of business got, do you have? Well, <laughs> well drilling, you have? water wa water well drilling. Okay, so I can educate my job. I can't. I can't give you advice, but I can educate you. So um, just because you drill does not necessarily mean that you'll get water. True. Right? True. Uh, so you have to know how to drill, but you have to know where to drill in general uh, to both. Because there could be water, but if you don't drill, you don't get water. And if you drill and there's no water source, you don't get water. And so courts kind of work the same way. You file the lawsuit to try to go get water, or in this case, your money in your truck, but you got to drill. 
So the order is the is the uh, drilling motion to get to get to it. Your truck probably should be pretty easy to find. Money might be harder because you have to figure out how to collect it. But if you've been in business with anybody any length of time, collecting money is also a big part of business. And so I yeah. suspect you may have some ideas as to how to do it. What you will have is the right to go get what you need to get. Then you have to get the right equipment to go get it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. You have now earned the right to go onto the property to drill. You now need to take your equipment and drill. <laughs> I probably oversimplified your business, but I, I probably, I hope that uh, you can understand the process. Yes. All right. We'll be adjourned on your case then. Thank you. Okay. Thank Tony, you. Just so you are aware, the court will prepare the judgment. So I will go ahead. I will present it to judge and then we will mail it out. You will need a sealed copy, which we will do as well in order for you to go ahead and go and get that vehicle as well. Okay. So you're going to provide me with the paperwork to go get my truck. But you'll have to figure out how to make that happen. Right. Okay. <laughs> well, like I said, I, I, I claim I'm smart, but I'm not always that smart when it comes to legalities, yeah. but thank we'll you. figure it out. Okay. We'll thank you. In this case. Thank you. Thank Michelle, you. I see you come back. Did you get your case resolved or are you just, have, just um, trying to figure out how to get out of here? <laughs> trying to figure out how to get out. I'm so sorry. All right. Well, we'll take care of it. We're going to end the meeting. So you'll be all set. You don't have to do anything. There you go.